Hello, my name is Nicholas Penicaldo, and myself, along with Jacqueline Feist, have conducted our study on prescribing patterns of skin and soft tissue infections in patients discharged from the emergency department. Treatment of skin and soft tissue infections are a growing reason for emergency department visits. Non-severe skin and soft tissue infections are frequently treated in the ED and discharged without admission to the general hospital. However, inadequate initial antibiotic treatment have been reported in up to 25% of patients. Our primary study outcome was to describe the proportion of patients who received guideline-derived therapy of mild to moderate skin and soft tissue infections in the emergency department. Secondary outcomes we hoped to find were the proportion of 30-day readmissions in all emergency department treated mild to moderate skin and soft tissue infections, the reasons for these readmissions, and lastly to compare 30-day readmission rates in those who received guideline-derived therapy versus those who did not. This was a single-center retrospective cohort study examining skin and soft tissue-related visits at Ascension St. John Hospital Emergency Department. We analyzed data between the dates of July 1, 2020 through December 31, 2020. To be included in the study, patients had to be at least 18 years of age who were treated for mild, non-purulent, or moderate purulent skin and soft tissue infections. Exclusion criteria is listed above. Data that we collected include demographics, antibiotic regimen, readmission, and causes of readmission. Statistical analysis included the student's t-tests and chi-squared tests. We reviewed 876 charts in total. 576 were excluded and 300 were included in the study. The largest reason for exclusion was admission for inpatient treatment or inpatient observation. Of those included in the study, we found that 153 were treated with the correct drug choice, while 147 were treated with the incorrect drug choice. Of the 153 patients who were treated with the correct drug, 36 of those instances involved the incorrect dosing, duration, or frequency. This yielded only 117 patients who were actually treated according to guideline-directed therapy and 183 patients who received non-guideline-directed therapy. 21 out of 117 guideline-directed therapy patients were readmitted within 30 days, while 35 out of 183 non-guideline-directed therapy patients were readmitted within 30 days. When comparing the demographic data of those who received guideline-directed therapy versus non-guideline, gender was the only characteristic that was significantly different between the two groups. The non-guideline group had a greater, greater ratio of females to males, with 60% of the non-guideline uh, therapy group being female. Age, race, BMI, comorbidities, antibiotic use within the previous year, and the type of SSTI did not differ significantly between groups. In total, 51% received the correct drug, and 39% received the correct drug, dose, frequency, and duration. Of the 300 patients in total, 56 patients were readmitted within 30 days, resulting in a readmission rate of 18.6%. 30-day readmission rates between those who received the correct drug and those who did not were not significantly different, with 19.6% and 17.6% as their rates respectively. Readmission rates between those who received guideline-directed therapy compared to non-guideline also did not significantly differ, with rates of 17.9% and 19.1% respectively. The reasons for readmission were categorized into two groups, readmission due to persistent uh, symptoms uh, or progression of the original SSTI, and readmission to re due to reasons other than progression or persistence of the original SSTI, the latter of which made up the majority of the readmissions. There was no significant difference between guideline-directed therapy and non-guideline-directed therapy um, in terms of readmission for persistent symptoms or progression of the original SSTI. Likewise, there was no significant difference between groups in terms of readmission due to reasons aside from the original SSTI progression or persistence. In conclusion, the majority of antibiotic therapy prescribed in the emergency department for mild to moderate skin and soft tissue infections did not follow current guidelines. However, 30-day readmission rates did not differ across those who received guideline versus those who did not. Further research on the use of guideline-directed therapy in an emergency department treated skin and soft tissue infections is needed to determine a more clear picture of outcomes related to therapy choice. Thank you for your time.